it's uh, journal 12 <clears throat> and um, today is December 14th it's been a few days since I've journaled um, I don't know it's just the main thing surrounding these last few days has just been this lack of clarity mentally um, which I don't even know if I touched on in the last one, which is, you know, that's a big deal. That's, that was the biggest issue with COVID. It was the brain fog that it conceived. Um, just to quickly sort of recap the last few days. Um, let's see, Tuesday, I tested negative for COVID, so it was back to... Yeah, t tested negative for COVID. So it was back to <clears throat> normal, normal stuff, normal procedures. And I was lucky because I had a work Christmas party to to go to, and I felt good enough to go. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. Um, work Christmas party was all right. It's as bad as as good as a work Christmas party can get, I suppose. Unless some people's Christmas parties at work go crazy, but I doubt that. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, and then yeah, yesterday was a day of finals and a day of writing for final papers. And I also hit legs like crazy hard yesterday, so that was nice. My legs are so fucking sore which i'm gonna swear because it deserves it deserves to have that adjective assigned to it um and then today was more of the same um i had a final exam bright and early at 8 a.m i uh it's just like i've been a little i've been a little upset with myself because i don't think i've been prepared as i as much as i could have been and you know I'm doing fine on these tests, and I know I am, but definitely could be doing better. And that's, you know, it's at least I'm aware of that of that facet, um, and, so, and you know, rather than being ignorant of it. Um, yeah, and I, sorry for the pause. I. Uh, I'm pausing again. I had to write some more for my final papers today. And I had one that was just... Oh, it's for my research methods in political science class. And I have to, like, do statistical analysis and all that. And I see why it's important. I, it's a part of my degree and like... I wouldn't mind doing it um, per se, but just in this context with everything, you know, building up on my hands, like covering the camera, like, boom, boom. Um, <laughs> I think you get my point because it's school. It just makes it worse. And it wasn't even really that hard. It's just, it's just, um, uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? It's the word for when something is like, it's easy, but it's just like so boring and, and like mind numbing and it feels like you're just grinding rocks against each other. What's the word for that? There's a word for that. I don't know. This brings me to a point, though, which I did write down a few days ago. The fact that changes need to be made. Um, I feel I do feel like I'm putting in effort, but I don't think I'm putting in enough effort into my life. And like I do a lot. Like after my exam, I worked, I cleaned some houses, and then I went to the gym, and then I did homework, and you know. I still feel like I can be putting in more. I don't know. It's just this high standard that I hold myself to, which I think is a good thing, but I don't know. 
it leaves me almost never satisfied, which probably isn't a good thing. Um, a lot of the time, though, it does feel like I'm sort of like floating through my day. Um, like I'm not exerting that much control over it. The control that I do have, I'm choosing not to use, perhaps. So, there's that. Um, I've had this idea of algorithmic soul sacrifice, which sounds like, it sounds like this nutcase thing, but in, in regards to, like, the videos that I make, I don't know, I keep bringing this up, but it's just... It doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of room for authenticity. I don't I don't know if that's the case. I'm probably wrong even, but I don't know, maybe you get you get my point. It's like I don't know, it's so weird. An example could be of someone like Neon, like a streamer who's just like it doesn't even make sense how they got so popular so fast and they're just doing things the prototypical and stereotypical way. Um, not really doing anything worthwhile to be honest, like no disrespect. Choose how to live however you want, I suppose. I mean, you know, it's not necessarily negatively affecting others. I'm not totally caught up on neon lore, but... um. You get the point. It's like, that's just something I don't want to do. And I'm going to have to deal with the consequences of that. If I want to m leave a mark, make an impact. <clears throat> I'm going to have to deal with the consequences of that. You know, there's, um. It's hard to make it when you don't adjust to the norms um i don't know i feel like i'm getting into my like <laughs> my 60s era type stuff right now but i don't know maybe it's true do i look jacked in this shirt it used to be quite big even just like a year ago i'm starting to fill it out so that's cool um i don't know Stuff like that, that's good, probably. Not almost accidentally writing on your on your shirt, though. Um, yeah, these last few days have just been weird. I don't think they deserve any sort of rating. Um, tomorrow I have my last final. But before that, I have to go to the gym and clean one house. Um, now that I'm done with school, or... I'm about to be done school. I'll be cleaning essentially full time, I believe, which I'm not necessarily <laughs> excited for that. Um, but it brings me good money. And so that's a big alteration, as well as not necessarily an alteration, but I got rejected from an internship today not the one that i had the interview for but a different one so that kind of stinks but i'm sort of used to that now i don't know this is a very stream of consciousness journal maybe tomorrow i'll try to make a more a more you know pointed and one with direction but yeah i think I think what I've been rambling on about sort of encapsulates the last few days pretty well. And, you know, if I, if I maintain the level of consistency that I have had with journaling, maybe I can just, you know, sort of rekindle the, the grounded feeling that I was getting. Um, it just didn't make sense to with covid but 
definitely did make sense in hindsight. So there's that lesson learned and we'll, we'll solve.